So, um, yesterday, I met a loyal user, but then I mean Pojo user and owner, and uh, from the look of things, he's also an enthusiast, you know. Um, he owns a Pojo 406, a very clean Pojo 406, and uh, also owns a Pojo 301. And you know, mentioned to me, of course, but I think the Pojo 301 is the first generation. Um, so, you know, say something we shall uh, confirm to all the things I've been saying, you know, about Project 301 with uh, EC5 engine uh, attached with um, 88 automatic gearbox. You know, he said the car has no power, it hardly moves. That he enjoys his Pojo 406 with EW10J4 uh, with manual transmission than that newer Pojo 301 with uh, EC5 and the automatic transmission. You know. And according to him, that the car has no power at all, it hardly moves. Now, here is the thing. For a while, I've been saying that most people will say that I don't know what I'm talking about. There's nothing wrong with the e 301 with uh, the EC5 engine. It has about 115 horsepower, right? The problem is the gearbox. The gearbox sucks the entire power of the engine. And meaning that for you, in fact, the only time you even get the power of the engine is you, until you put the throttle pedal down to the floor, or almost close down to the floor. In fact, most times it has to go down to the floor before the engine power comes out. And then you know defeat the purpose of the vehicle, which is for, specifically for fuel economy. A lot of people don't like whenever I say that uh, automatic transmission in Pojo cars. Uh, if honestly, they are not just it. They are not just it. it doesn't mean, I'm not saying every other brand produces automatic gearbox better than Pojo car or use automatic because it's not like Pojo is the one producing all those gearboxes. So I'm not saying they use better gearbox than uh, better automatic gearboxes than Pojo ones. I'm only speaking specifically for Pojo cars or PSA vehicles. Um, when you compare in, in terms of performance, when you compare the the vehicles with the ones with the automatic and the uh, ones with manual transmission with same engine, no, yeah, same engine and the same vehicle model. You, you just wouldn't want, you just be like, ah, you wouldn't even want to have anything to do with your automatic. However, I know some people are just, no matter what, they can't do, they, so then they, for so example, they believe that automatic transmission uh, or manual transmission is for some people who want to suffer. That a modern man shouldn't have anything to do with uh, automatic, manual transmission, that manual transmission is for poor people or for people who like to suffer themselves. Uh, so-called suffering and smiling, right? So, uh, there are people who don't have that kind of uh, belief or kind of idea. So, no matter what you say today about automatic transmission, they always tell you, uh, poor man, get behind me. So, um, that's the thing. The day I knew that 301 can actually be very quick was the day I drove a 301 with the, uh, what's it called? It's an EB engine, EB, yeah, with a three cylinder, that's the first, first generation 301 with three cylinder engine and five speed manual transmission. Very small power, 72 horsepower compared to that of, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the one of uh, 115 horsepower, which is the EC5. Very low power, but the car was. I'm not saying it has a uh, power like a V6 or anything, but I'm saying it was quick and it was kind of fun if you wanted it. Of course, you know that when you want to have fun, you have to push the car very, very, very hard, which can not be comfortable sometimes. But compared to the 88 with the higher power, it was just marvelous. It was marvelous. So. That was when I knew that 301, though I don't actually know, I've forgotten the weight. 
um, I used to know that, but I've forgotten the way to know if it's, if it's uh, 301 and 307, which one weigh more than the other, you know. So, if you are to buy, if you want to buy for the 301, that first generation with the 88 engine, hey, go ahead and buy 88 transmission. Go ahead and buy it. But understand that that 88 is, um, is, is basically uh, AL4. Though I would say 88 is newer than AL4, or uh, an improvement on AL4. But in terms of character, they are all the same thing. In fact, um, sometimes you look as if the 88 or the AL4 even perform better than the 88. 88 is also four speed automatic gearbox. Uh, it's possible that the AL4 works much better when it's on a bigger engine than a smaller engine. But I do know that the gear ratios will not be the same with the newer, with the bigger and the smaller engine, even though it's the same gearbox. So, now you have it. This came from, but the person is likely going to be watching this video uh, later on because I think he follows me on YouTube as well. So, guys, it's not a lie. Some people will say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Guys, I do. I do. Specifically, for your cars, I have access to most of them at that. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying this is better. But I do know that some people are after performance. That's where I'm coming from. People who are after performance, this is where I can tell you, forget about Pojo Automatic Airbuses. Yeah, you can enjoy them if you want to. But trust me, you will going to be spending more. The only, because the only way for them to perform well, I told my own test is for the throttle to go down to the floor. Unlike the manual counterpart. The manual Pojo cars, especially with those ones with the bigger engines, you hardly press the uh, throttle pedal to the floor. I can tell you guys, I can't remember the last time I've ever done that on any of my Pojo cars, if I've ever done it. Maybe on one or two occasions, uh, I think I've done it like on my 505 when I first got the car in the travel. I remember there was one guy that was trying to, to play stop on. He didn't want me to accelerate, so I, I was on highway. He didn't want me to overtake him. I was on highway, I just pushed it to the artillery. Oof, <laughs> you guys, you can imagine what, really, what happened that time. Other than that, it's, I hardly do that. Why? Because with the manual gearbox, all you need to do is you call it a mash. You know the vehicle speed, you already know the power of the engine. So, with the gearbox, you know, all you need to do is to look for the particular gear that fits the, the speed the vehicle is doing for you to get more speed. So, you matter what, you find out that probably for the whole week you've driven that car. The throttle pedal has never gone beyond, beyond halfway to the pedal, to the floor. You see that you always maybe you push it towards the halfway, you shift to another gear. No matter the vehicle speed, it always uh, probably between the halfway travel or something, you have never pushed it to the floor. Unless, of course, maybe you are now maybe like an autobahn and you now want to push the car to, to the limit. Like on the gear 5 or gear 6, you want the car to do like 240 km per hour or thereabouts, then hey, you can do such things in manual. But on a normal speed, even when you are doing 200 km per hour on uh, the big VCs with manual, even on gear 5 or gear 6, your pedal will hardly get to. But automatic, for you to get up and move as quick as you want the manual to move, your pedal has to get to the floor. And then the consumption are going high because the, as long as the, the, the engine is concerned, the more the butterfly in the throttle body opens up, the more fuel that goes in. So that's why most people find it. Uh, people who are into performance or like car that moves very quick don't enjoy these automatics when you press them and they just keep uh, crawling. It takes a longer before they pick up and stuff like that. You know, and then they start getting, they become disappointed. So, however, I will tell you, see, this is my advice, right? If you want to buy Pojo 301, you know what you, I will tell you to do? 
don't buy Nigerian production because I, I'm talking about the first generation. If you are into performance, one thing I've noticed about Project 201 is all the ones I've seen Pogio, uh, Palm produce, they did not uh, use manual transmission on EC5. That the four cylinder, the uh, what's it called? The 301, the first generation 301 with uh, four cylinder engines. I've never seen, I'm yet to see, probably they did, but I'm yet to see one. However, I know it exists outside Nigeria. There are a lot of countries that use the 301, or the 201 is sold, and they have uh, that four cylinder engine with manual gearbox. That's the one I'll ask you to get for you. Enjoy it. The one with three cylinder engine is okay. That one uh, in Palm put, uh, I don't think they even put automatic on those ones. But at least I know the ones I've seen, the one I've driven has manual, five speed manual. So that one is okay too. In fact, that's the fact. Look at it this way most people that buy 301, they are doing it because of full economy, nothing else. It's not like they don't know that there are bigger Pojo cars, uh, newer or older that they can buy bigger than the 301. But they are buying the 301 because it's smaller, the engine size and so many things behind the truly 301 gives very good for economy. In fact, from what I've gathered, uh, even the, that EC5 can give you up to 2,000 kilometers for uh, 70 liters. You can use 70 liters of petrol and it will give you about 2,000 kilometers. No joke. Especially that three-cylinder, even the three-cylinder one. You know, they are that for economical. So anybody buying the one, you're buying the for full economy. You can also buy the three cylinder one. Yes, I know that unless maybe you can't just do you can't drive manual automatic manual transmission, then go for the EC5. You know. But if you also want the one that can also you can catch for one every once in a while or most of the time, even with that uh, uh, small body or stuff like that, then go import use ones. Look for the one with four cylinder engine, petrol four cylinder engine with manual transmission because you may not really know uh, whether which one is EC5 or anything. But just tell them we want one with four cylinder engine and the manual transmission. That first generation one. Once you get that, it, that engine has to be EC5. Unless you, are, you see diesel one, but as far as I'm concerned, I think that is the only four cylinder engine they put in first generation. Um, three, 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 one. So now you have it. Um, I don't want to waste much time, even though I've already done that. Anyway. So, yeah. Does, uh, even, 80, even because I know the other project cars with that uh, 408 also has 88. I've driven 408 several times. As a, it's not a car I will ever want to. <laughs> even if you dash me. Unless it has manual transmission. All the ones I've driven so far, we are all. Uh, uh, what's it called? EW10A with huge power. I think what I mean for the vehicle, for the size of the car, the power is very, very well enough. Yeah, the transmission messes it up because it has 88. The same transmission in 301. So, I, I don't know, guys. People who love automatic, fine. Go ahead and do that. But if you're a man and you want once in a while, cash phone, just forget about it.